Hey guys, so I just want to make a very quick video here uh, about a few comments here on uh, the... Oh my... It's just my camera, okay? You just need to turn it off. Two seconds. Four seconds. Five. Let's see, okay, it's turned off. Okay, so... Uh, the creative one, he made a video here talking about Android fragmentation. So, uh, uh, there's some pretty funny comments here that I just want to respond to one quick comment here. Um, he said, uh, Dave, you basically just read my mind. Android rocks, but it sucks that phone comes out so fast, it's ridiculous. <clears throat> Okay, I'm just going to read this whole comment first. Android update so fast that it's so ridiculous. Also, every update, it's so extreme that you sometimes have to get used to a whole new UI. I got my HTC Evo Shift 4G a year ago, and I thought it was good. Then I watched the new Samsung Galaxy Nexus get released. Now spring, can't do a donkey, blah, blah, blah about my phone. When I get BlackBerry, I would, I would be honored to send you my phone, because I'm done. Okay, let's just go over this comment a little bit. Android rocks, but it sucks the phone phones comes out so fast. It's ridiculous Why please let me know in the comments? Why is it so bad that you get more phones so you can get more things to pick between? Is this anyone that's forcing you to buy a new device every time it comes out? No, but it's good. It's cool. We love tech. We are geeks. We love new products coming out with new hardcore porn software. Or I mean, not porn software exactly, but I mean, coming out with new uh, hardcore badass specs. That's freaking great. You don't have to buy the new device immediately. It's just a phone, okay? You don't have to buy it, okay? Um, Android, uh, but yeah, if, you, if your status horny, you should definitely get an iPhone. iPhone 4S. Uh, yeah, definitely. Android update so fast that it's so ridiculous. Uh, you think Android updates so fast? Okay. Uh, also, also every update it's so extreme that you sometimes have to get used to a whole new UI. Okay, let's just think about this a little bit. Um, Android has been available for for a, f a few years now. And how many like major UI changes have they done? Maybe two or three or something like that. They may do one uh, every 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 other year or so. And I mean, how long time is gonna take you to get used to a improved UI that's gonna help you? Uh, through day and everything, it's probably gonna take around a week, and then you will get used to your new awesome phone with your new awesome software that's even better than the previous one. I mean, the, the updates in the UI has been so uh, amazing. I mean, if you, you just look at Android 2.3, uh, bumping it up to Android 4.0, it's so much better in 4.0. Don't you want that good, uh, awesome UI that's so much better? more optimized and everything why why would you say that's bad uh okay i get to use my issue with shift 4g a year ago and i thought it was good then i watched the new samsung galaxy nexus get released now spring can't do blah 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 about my phone okay so you're basically sadly a boy that a new phone got released uh, is that the case or is it that you are having problem with your carrier now i do know that you americans you have those mother effing carriers that release a variant of every like if, if you get the galaxy s2 uh, in, the, in there in the states and you have like 15 different carriers and everyone's gonna have their own kind of special Galaxy S2. I mean, that's not something that we have in 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 Europe. We just get the Galaxy S2, and and that's it, you know. So I mean, if if you if you hate carriers, just move to Sweden or just move to my country, and then we can drink beer and stuff. But yeah, I mean, just 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 move to Europe. If you don't like carriers, move from the United States to a normal country. Where you don't have to think that much about carriers. You can, you can just buy like any single device and then you just pick the carrier you want. Okay, that's freedom. Uh, and, we, and we have that in Europe. Sucks that you don't have that in the States. Uh, a little bit like a person over there with carriers and stuff. But that sucks. Um, but uh, if you can, you, you can move over here. No one's forcing you to live where you are. Okay. Um, when I get a Blackberry, okay, I'm just gonna stop this video here uh, because he's talking about blackberries. We all do know they suck.
Okay, I haven't never actually tried a Blackberry, but, uh, I mean, I lo <laughs> you need a good display, okay? You need a good display. Blackberries are, are like, two, two inches big in size. That, that's not good. I mean, not even the girls like that. Um, okay, so that was just one comment, but there are tons of other fun comments here about people hating on the Android. But yeah, if, if you really want a status phone, and if you are getting a sad little boy every time a new device gets released, go ahead and go with the iPhone. Go ahead and do so. I'm not gonna... I'm not, I'm not gonna um, stop you or anything, but if you want an awesome Android experience, just go ahead and subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and I'm gonna tell you what phone you should buy right effing now, and you don't have to buy a new Android smartphone every single day and be like, oh, this is the best, now I'm gonna use this, okay, if you're a rich boy, you can go ahead and do so, but it's gonna be annoying as hell, but... You, you just look at me. I've been using the Galaxy Note since um, since uh, December last year, and I mean I've been buying a ton of other new Android smartphones after that. But I still do believe that the Galaxy Note is better. Okay, it it it's the king of Android smartphones at the moment. You 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 can say that the HTC One S or any other is better for you, but for me that is 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 the best phone. Okay. You don't have to buy a new Android smartphone. Just listen to what I have to say and then buy phones after my recommendation. If you don't buy phones after my recommendation, then I'm sorry, but you're probably going to get a ton of uh, ton of problems with Android. I'm more into Android and stuff, so I, I, could, I could definitely guide you, okay? And it's, it, Android is only for hardcore geeks and for cool people. For real cool people, not rich boys people. Rich boys, they buy the iPhone 4S for daddy's money, okay? We cool boys, we buy an Android smartphone because there are bigger displays, you can run widgets, you can basically change everything about the UI without having to do some jailbreaking or something like that. And if you really want to change the, like the gender of your Android smartphone, you can just go ahead and root it, and you can basically blow it up if you want. There's probably an app like that that will power, power overvolt it or something like that uh, and uh, destroy the circuits in the phone or something like that. Because rooting, that's even more powerful than jailbreaking because that means that you get complete access of the phone, and I think you can do anything. And... Uh, yeah, you, 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 you can do anything, so a very, very quick video here responding to this comment. There are a ton of other fun comments here, but I'm not going to respond to all of them, because that would take a hell of a long time, because now I've been talking too effing much about one single comment here that is not even that effing long, and it's, uh, it's, it's, it's around 500 comments on this page, and that's too effing much for me, so yeah. And uh, one final note here, Android 2.3 still kills iOS, so you just gotta suck that up. Bye-bye.